the Moab Easter Jeep Safari is something that Mopar brand really looks forward to every year. It's really our opportunity to shine. What we really get to do is take our toys, Jeep performance parts, Mopar accessories, put them on some of the most incredible canvases in the industry, like the all-new Jeep Gladiator, and really just take them out and play on the trails of Moab. Inspired by the J-Series Jeeps from the past, we call this one, appropriately, the J6. The six comes from the six-foot bed. The two-door is especially important to me because it's a concept, once again, it's something unique that we don't currently offer. Um, so we're always looking for input from Jeep enthusiasts. Uh, maybe this is something that could influence future Jeep product. The color is really special. I, uh, I love this brilliant blue. Uh, once again, it's a concept version of a, a one from 1978. I think it, it's very appropriate for this, this truck. The Scrambler, it's amazing what we've done to that vehicle. And yeah, we've put uh, larger OD tires on it. We have a cadre of uh, Mopar parts and some custom paint, but it's the unique body side stripe that's uh, in nacho yellow and pumpkin orange. And then this unique color that we've got for the wheels, which I, I call uh, gorge. It's kind of a combination of gold and orange. That along with the brown roof, which is inspired by the original Scrambler. Just color alone and a little bit of proportional change and all of a sudden it, it kind of puts a smile on your face. It takes you back to that time and, and it's very attractive. The coolest thing about the Gladiator Gravity vehicle, it comes off at first glance like a concept vehicle. It's actually not. What it does is it really highlights um, a selection of parts taken right from our accessory portfolio for the all-new Jeep Gladiator. For the Easter Jeep Safari 2019, we are going all in on trucks. We're so happy we're going to celebrate the arrival, finally, of the Jeep Gladiator. So to do that, we're doing several trucks and covering all the categories we, th we can think of. Uh, we've got a, uh, a motocross-inspired truck. We've got an overlanding-inspired truck. We've got a throwback-inspired truck. A lot of, lot of great stuff, and it's all about the Gladiator this year. The overall takeaway on, on the way out and the way out name is really, it's, it's got several meanings for us. It was, I can go way out, I can stay way out. The vehicle is the way out. We started with a, a, a Rubicon, uh, added a 37 inch tire for uh, increased off-road capability, winch and that kind of a thing. But really the star of the show is there's a two man tent perched up on top of the vehicle with a custom made rack and a giant awning. Uh, we didn't want to add every part in piece, all the pots and pans uh, available for overlanding. We just wanted to kind of show what can be done. The exterior color of the vehicle is notable because it's going to be a, a, a production color on the all-new Gladiator. It's called Gator and it's a really sort of a, a muted gray green which I think is going to be perfect for this truck. Other design details on it, on the 37s we mounted those on the old school steel steel wheels with no feature to them at all and it's just the, the vibe is, is right. It's very subdued, very calm and cool. Our idea with this is, you know, sneaking into that secret spot across that creek and, and up that hill quietly in the evening. You can rapidly set the tent up, rapidly put out the uh, awning, and you're camping and quietly just in nature, not in a an RV park with a bunch of screaming kids and stuff. It's really uh, self-contained camping. So the Jeep Flatbill is a concept based on the all-new Jeep Gladiator. And what we were trying to accomplish was just show one of the many personalities that the new Gladiator can withstand. Um, the Flatbill was inspired by the Southern California dirt bike community. The truck was really an exploration of if you were to treat it more like a motorcycle and add all these cool parts, what you would get. And this is really showing a personality that's unique to the truck and unique to the platform that, that you can accomplish. So on flat bill, you'll find a 40 inch tire with just a two inch lift. And the way we accomplished that was by doing new fenders that are more high clearance uh, to give you that amount of travel with a minimal lift. Um, you'll also find a unique hood 
a unique uh, tailgate system where the bikes are actually sitting on ramps that pull out to set down to load and unload the bikes a little bit easier. And we, we chopped the back end to give it more of that pre-runner Southern California feel that the motocross community has. I want people to take away the amount of personalization that you can get with the all-new Gladiator. I think it's a blank canvas for people to put their own personalities on. This is my personality on the truck, and I'm so excited to see what everyone else does with it. So the 715 is something that we're super excited about and we've actually been talking about for a number of years. They're kind of a factory monster truck. They're really interesting from uh, a standpoint that if all Jeeps kind of follow the form follows uh, function mentality, then these things are like that to an extreme. They started out as gladiators. Um, they're taken by the military and retrofitted uh, with more functional bits and pieces. As with a lot of these resto mods, I hit Craigslist hard, <laughs> scoured the ends of the internet looking for the perfect candidate. Um, so this one I found, this is a 1968 M715 Jeep. Uh, I called the gentleman, we talked back and forth about the car and bought it sight unseen uh, and it, it rolled up here. It was in really nice shape, it was a complete truck and then we, we tore into it and made it what it is. So the idea behind the concept of this was really to uh, deconstruct it and put it back together with an eye towards kind of the technical styling. And the only things we really retained was the cab, the door skins, uh, part of the windshield, and the frame rails. Aside from that, everything has been revisited. So you'd probably be most surprised when you stomp on it and your stomach goes and hits your backbone. It's terrifying. So we, we put a, uh, a hell crate motor in it. So it's a 392, 707 horsepower. It's scary. It's terrifying um, in a really good way. Uh, you're about that far from the supercharger. You know, the, there's the dash and then there's the blower right there. And when you romp on it, all you hear is that thing kicking in. And it is just, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling, both the physical feeling of it, but also the emotional, the noise, the, uh, all the drama that comes with it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. It's not your typical mud throwing uh, or just slow crawling machine. It's, it's a little bit more looking at it from partially from a speed aspect, but also just, again, the technical precision that may have never really existed on the, on the original one. So we really kind of wanted that revisit of all the pieces and parts to kind of come together to be the full story of this one.